Hi guys, it's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube Eli Fishman Sports. There's constantly a debate about what team in, the, in baseball has the best bullpen. And when talking about bullpens, you can't help but think about the three-headed monster that the New York Yankees had earlier in the 2016 season. Three of the best pitchers in baseball, Dellen Patances, Andrew Miller, and the Cuban missile Aroldis Chapman. At the trade deadline, the Yankees traded Miller to the Cleveland Indians and Chapman to the Chicago Cubs for some of the best prospects in baseball. So at the end of the year, the Yankees just had Batances as their ninth inning guy, and Adam Warren was their setup guy. Sounds like a good, pretty good eighth and ninth inning if you ask me, but they've made it a lot better right now by adding four-time All-Star and the man responsible for the fastest pitch in MLB history and former New York Yankee, Aroldis Chapman. Wednesday night, the Fireballer signed a big contract, the biggest contract for a relief pitcher in Major League Baseball history with the New York Yankees, giving him $17.2 million a year for five years to play in the Bronx. The 28-year-old Cuban lefty has been one of the best players in baseball for the past few years, being an All-Star in four consecutive seasons of his five Major League seasons. Chapman was the star closer for the Yankees until he was traded away to the Chicago Cubs in the mid-2016 season for prospects. He had had some control issues off the field and on the field even. He was uh, he dealt with a couple injuries too um, and some control issues with his arm. But off the field, he was he's been charged with um, domestic violence against his girlfriend and use of a firearm. He was suspended for the first. 30 games of the 2016 season, but came out strong in his pinstripe debut in May, striking out two of the guys he faced in one inning of work. He would finish his time with the Yankees in 2016 with 20 saves and an amazing 2.01 ERA. But on July 25th, he was traded to the Chicago Cubs for three prospects and Adam Warren. Chapman would go down to lead the Cubs to a World Series win, and they might have might not have even done it without him, shutting down teams in the late innings and saving four games, including de holding down the house in Game 6 of the World Series, leading to a Chicago Cubs victory for the first time since 1908. The very minute the World Series had ended, Chapman had gotten plenty of offers from teams. It was rumored that he could go to Boston or Washington, Baltimore, San Francisco, or a couple others. A few teams dropped out after Chapman said that he wanted over a $100 million contract. The Yankees stayed with it, though. The Yankees were really interested in him since that minute the World Series ended, and Chapman wanted to be a Yankee, too, simply stating that he, w he wanted to be a Yankee again. A week later, the Yankee, he was the Yankees' new closer. It was a great move on Brian Cashman's part by sticking with him and get, getting him to bargain down to $84 million instead of his asking price, which was over $100 million. And also, Chapman got a no-trade clause for three years, so he's probably not going to be going anywhere anytime soon. And if he is, since it's a three-year trade no-trade no clause, he could be going somewhere after the 2020 season. Still, it's pretty exciting to see that the amazing Southpaw Fireballer is back pitching for the Pinstripes in the Bronx, and I can't wait to see him in that new closer role again with the New York Yankees. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube, Eli Fishman Sports. Be sure to subscribe and check out some other videos. Thank you for watching.